Hey, what's up, boy? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a new screen recorder called iRec. Now, many of you may be thinking, you've heard of iRec, that's not new, and you're right. iRec was an iOS 7 and 8 screen recorder. However, after iOS 9 came out, the application was completely ripped apart and no longer worked. However, the developers did not give up and continued to work on getting iRec working on iOS 9. And now it finally is working and iRec is in closed beta and I have a copy of the application to show you guys and I hope you are excited for that. Huge shout out goes out to the developer of iRec, Anthony. Make sure to give him a follow on Twitter if you're not already to stay updated on the latest installments to the iRec application. And let's begin. So the first thing you guys can already notice is that the icon is different than the old iRec icon. And of course, that is because there's a new recording method similar to AirShow where AirPlay is used to record your screen. When you open the application, you'll notice that the UI is very similar to the old iRec UI with just having to add a title here and starting your recording. However, there are a multitude of settings that you can go to. For example, there's the color scheme, which you can set to light or dark. Currently, it's set to dark, as well as you have your video resolutions. You can set it to the actual size of your iOS device. 1080p, 720p, 480p with actual size being the best quality. However, it does make your recordings much bigger and of course that making it longer to upload from your iOS device. You also have FPS 30 and 60 with of course 60 being the best and what you'd want to record in. And finally, you have your audio source. Now, what's new in this iRec is that you can actually record the device's audio. So the sound that comes out of your iOS device will be taken and put into your recording instead of only recording the microphone and your voice. Now, unfortunately, you can't do both at once, but having the option to record your device's audio is pretty awesome in my opinion. And finally, you have some more audio settings here that I'd recommend you leave just as they are when you get the application. So now that we've looked at the settings, the only other thing that you have available is the information here where you'll see the credits to the developer, like I mentioned, Anthony, make sure to give him a follow and of course, software updates if there's any available at the time. So to start a recording, all you have to do is name it. So just give it a name, whatever it is, does not matter, and then click done. Once you do that, it'll ask you for confirmation. Are you sure you would like to start a recording? Click yes and a pop-up will appear like so. And to continue, please swipe up from the bottom of your screen to activate control center and then select airplay. So very simple, similar to air show, swipe up from the control center, click on airplay and then click on iRec and it'll begin your recording. Now you'll know that your recording has started because you'll see of course the red bar at the top of the screen and the notification on the iRec application. And like I mentioned, iRec does record in-game sound. So for example, if I were to go ahead and play Minecraft Pocket Edition, when I go into the application and start it here, you guys will see that when I go to the recording, it will be recording the sound. Now, of course, iRec is taking the sound from your device, so you can't actually hear it yourself, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's just a little drawback for being able to record the audio from your iOS device. So once you're done recording, you can just head back to iRec by clicking on the top and then going to done. And then it'll say, are you sure you would like to stop this recording? You can click yes and you can view your recordings by going to recordings here. And then you play it by clicking it or saving it to your camera roll. I'm gonna just go ahead and play it here. And then here you go. So you can see that the recording has actually started. Of course, I had it on the screen while it was going for you guys. Um, and of course, I'll have this actual raw footage uploaded to YouTube unlisted so that you guys can see the raw footage of iRec in a YouTube video as opposed to seeing it from my camera here to there. So what I really want you guys to pay attention to is that you'll actually hear the audio. 
Now, I'm not quite sure if you guys could hear that through the microphone because there was an airplane in the background, but it definitely did record the audio, which is a feature I know many of you guys that make YouTube videos or have used other screen recorders in the past um, have been asking for. So with that being said, that is iRec 2.0 which will be coming out soon. Like I mentioned, this is a closed beta right now. Um, I'm not sure how many people have it or how you can get it, but for more updates, give Anthony a follow on Twitter. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because as soon as iRec is available, I'll definitely have a video on how to get it. And leave a like if you enjoyed and are excited for this new iRec. I hope that it'll be done soon. As you can see, it's pretty complete at the moment and you guys will be able to get it on your iOS device. So anyways, if you guys have not followed me on Snapchat yet, I highly recommend you do so. My snap code is right there. I'll be posting updates on videos to come, maybe possibly when iRec comes out. It's a ton of fun. I love using Snapchat, and if you haven't followed me yet, I definitely appreciate it. And with all that being said, I guess that's pretty much the video. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.